Hey guys, Jamie here, and in this video I'm going to review this uh, Saker contour gauge. Um, the company uh, contacted me through through my website and asked me to do a review on this and sent me one of these and turns out I needed one because I had broken one. Uh, the previous one I had wasn't Saker, it was just something from, from Amazon or, or Home Depot, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it was very similar in style. Um, of course, the contour gauge, uh, you guys know how these work. Uh, basically, you push them against something and they, they, they capture the shape, okay? The one I had before uh, was always actually a little frustrating because it didn't have a lock, okay? And so some of them come with uh, little, little locks, and this one has a little lock. So it's got this little thing that you pull up right here. Okay, so once you take your shape, then you put this guy up, and these now are locked in place. Okay, now you can really push hard and get them to move, but I mean the idea was, like, if without without a lock, uh, it's very easy. So you get a profile of something, and then you accidentally are coming over to to draw it onto your board, and you bump, and now your profile is all screwed up. Okay, so the lock is a really nice feature. Okay. So I'm going to do a, a quick demo. I've got this guitar body here, and let's say I wanted to capture this, this shape right here and transfer it to a board for something, okay? So I'm just going to go through the little demo over here. Hopefully you can see this. Let me go up. All right. Okay. So let's say I wanted to capture this shape. I'm going to basically just push this into it, okay? And now on some of these, see I'm pushing, make sure it's all the way up into that area, okay? You can push, you can push from back here, okay? Then I lock, and now I have that shape locked, I can go to my board, lay this on my board, transfer that shape, okay, and then I could go and cut this board out and, uh, and I'd have that perfect profile, all right. Now, I know you're saying, well, you wouldn't need the, the profile gauge for that, you could just lay this on the board and and, and draw your shape, right? Um, but these are meant for, you know, um, areas that you, you can't pick up and move, uh, you know, if you're doing, you're cutting floorboards or you're cutting uh, something that you can't pick up and move, right? Uh, that's obviously where you're gonna use this. So this is just an example uh, to show how this thing worked. And um, I think it works really good. I think it uh, seems to be sturdy. Okay, so um, obviously these are plastic, so you could break them, but I'm bending that pretty far, and it's not uh, not no problem. So um, I'm sure that I could break it if I tried really hard, um, but like I said, they're they're plastic, and, and I don't think you could expect much much better. Um, it seems pretty good. And like I said, the lock feature is really nice. So. All right, so that is it. That's my review of this uh, Saker contour gauge. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, I think it's pretty nice. I think it's better than the one I had before. And so that's all I really have to, to offer is that my one experience with the other board I had, uh, it broke and uh, didn't have a lock. And so far, this one's been better. All right, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later.